Hi, Linear Algebra students. In this video, we are in 2.2 inverse of a matrix, and we're going to prove the third property of invertible matrices. That is, if a matrix is invertible, then its transpose is also invertible, and this is the formula for its inverse. So you take the inverse of the matrix and then transpose it. Okay? Um, it's an exercise that's in your reach, okay? And uh, after that, we have done A in class and that you either have did B on your own or followed uh, the video for uh, the, the second property, B. Really try to do this by yourself. Uh, the idea is the same, really. So this is a candidate and we will check that it works as the inverse of A transpose. In other words, we're gonna check it in the definition. So, uh, the first thing, we're going to compute uh, A transpose. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take the color code. We're going to take A transpose multiplied by A inverse transpose. Remember, this is the candidate. Okay. What we're doing here is we're using the property that uh, B transpose, A transpose is equal to A times B transpose. So we're using this property, okay? This means that what we have is, um, okay, I will keep the color codes just around the matrices, okay? So the red, the, the green matrix uh, A inverse comes first, and then we have a that comes second. Because as you can see, whenever you distribute a transpose over a product, you have to reverse the order as well. So this is what you get uh, from the first step. Then these two things, A inverse times A is equal to I. So what you get is I transpose. So this. And I being a diagonal matrix, uh, its transpose is equal to itself. So here you go, you got I. Remember that this is because I is diagonal. So I transpose is equal to I, okay? And really, whenever you transpose something, you don't change its diagonal. That's why it works, right? Uh, you just change the off-diagonal elements, and since these are zero, uh, they these since these are all zero, regardless on if they are above or below the diagonal, uh, this is why you have that, right? Um, now we're doing so. This part is checked, okay. First off, this part is checked, and now we're doing the opposite. We're trying to do a minus one times t multiplied by A transpose, like this. So we want to show that this is also the identity matrix. So as you can see, we're using the exact same property. So, um, so again, I'll just be careful of my color coding. I'll, I'll put the matrices uh, together and transpose uh, the result. But now notice that the red matrix is on the right, so it becomes on the left, and the in A inverse, which is on the left, become on the right. That being said, as you can see, this is also equal to I, so you have I transpose that is equal to I, following the exact same argument. So that's it. What you proved here is that your candidate, so A inverse transpose, works as an inverse. As an inverse of uh, A transpose. And this is what you wanted to prove.
here goes. I hope this helped. This is my last video of the day because uh, right now it's almost six. It's still clear, right? But it's almost six. So I close it now. Have a nice one. See you in the next video.